foodies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing it early. We have a storm and it is um, really, really bad out there. I had to go to the shop to pick up some ingredients and we nearly blew away. The wind's that strong. So today I decided to do my hobby cheese and beans bake from scratch and I'm going to do a cheese and onion bake from scratch and I'm also going to do a cake which will be a fruit cake so I'll show you how I do that as well so you're getting two for the price of one today so for the ingredients you will need butter now I use half and half which is butter and lard you don't have to you can just use butter or whatever you use for your baking um i'm using plain flour you need a pinch of salt you need a couple of tablespoons of water or milk that's your choice and that's for your pastry that's basically it for your pastry i will show you how to make the pastry or the way i make the pastry then all you need is some cheap baked beans and some cheap cheese. Now you can get it in block or you can get it in grated form. Now we got it in grated form this time. Um, I know it's cheaper to do it in block, but that's what we're doing. That's what we're working with today. Yep, so let's get cracking, let's get cooking. Now as you can see, I've just put some flour in a sieve and I'm adding a bit of salt. And we're just going to sieve that flour into a bowl. Now no, I didn't measure anything out. I'm doing this by eyeball. So you just want to sift the flour so there's no lumps in it. And putting the flour in and the salt this way, make sure the salt's incorporated. And you can break down Some of the flour, but you'll always get some bits that you can't. So, that's that. As you can see, my flour is now sifted. Now I'm going to add my lard and my butter. And all we're going to do is rub it all in. Now the lard is a little bit hard at the moment, but it'll soften as we go along. So I'm going to continue to do this. And when it's ready, I'll bring you back. So as you can see, there's my breadcrumb mixture done. Now we're going to add some milk and I'll show you what we do. So the next thing we want to do is add a little bit of milk and I'm using the back of my trusty knife. We're bringing it all together.
Laura sees Laura is different, Rumi acts different. So depending on your flour, depends on how much water or milk you put in. You basically just want to mix them together. And now I want to see if I can go in with my hands to get it together. So well, not quite just yet, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And that should be enough. And that's all we're doing until we get all the pastry together. Now that's all together. So what I'm going to do is put this in clean film and put it in the fridge for around 20 minutes. While we're waiting for the pastry, I'm going to do my cake with stuff. I'm going to steam this for half a sugar. Off. When that's creamed, I'm going to crack one egg in. Now we're using two eggs, but we do one at a time. Now on the second one. Now in my sieve, 
I've got some plain flour. Let me just take that out a second. I have some plain flour and I have um, baking powder in it. So we're just going to sieve. Not all of it. Mix that in. I just find it easier if you do a bit at a time. Now we add the rest. I will be adding some milk to this as well. Around half a cup. Well, that's a big ball just now we're going to add our milk which as I said is half a cup And we do that slowly, otherwise you get it all over the place. Now all the things I've been using, like this whisk and my uh, measuring cups and measuring spoons, I got from Deals, better known as your Poundland. They're very inexpensive. I also got um, some new uh, salt and pepper, which I'll show you after. I should say pepper, salt and pepper mill, shouldn't I? Now that's our mixture. Now I'm going to get some fruit. So hang on there a second. Now I have a bag of mixed fruit. And I'm just going to add around about that much. Now I had them left over from Christmas. I'm just gonna mix them in. Now I'll put this in my Pyrex dish like I did last time with my cake, except that one was a shop bought one. And I'm going to cook it the same way as well. I'm gonna cook it in the microwave. Make sure that flour's in. So when that's done, I will show you. So yeah, I'll bring you back. Now that our 
cake is done and cooling down, which I'll show you when it's cooled down. Well, I'll show you at the end of the video. Now, um, move it there a bit. Now I split the pastry into four. Because what I want to do is make kind of a square. You'll see what I mean when I open that. Now obviously I'll, I'll show you how, how I do this one and then obviously I will do the rest off camera. Now I say that's big enough. So all we're going to do is cut roughly into a square. Obviously you can put the bits of pastry left over with the other pastry. And then we're going to cut this roughly in half again. We're going to put the filling on this side. I'm trying not to get too much juice. And then we're going to top that with with cheese. Um. And then we're just going to put some water here, just so that I can seal the edges. And then we're just going to put this on top. And then we're just going to use a fork to seal it like so. And then I'm going to brush some egg on top. And then we'll put it in the air fryer. So, um, so we're just going to put some egg wash on the top. And then just cut some vents in it like so. And then we'll cut those in the air fryer. So yeah, I'll bring you back when everything's done. And that's both from done, so I'll give you a closer look. There's mine with the cheese and onion. And that's my hubby's. He's got the cheese and beans and he's having mash. 
And while I'm here, there's a the cake. Now it's not as brown as you would get it in an oven. But it's done in a microwave and you can always put it in the air fryer just to brown up if you wish to. Now it's time for the taste test. I'll give you a closer look. Hmm. Pastry is beautiful. There's nice flavouring in that. Mm. And it's rough in the inside. Mm. Delicious. So if you like the content, because I'm going to have this on my dinner, but if you like the content, please give me a like. Please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell for new uploads. Comment in the comment box. Let me know if you try this recipe or oh, you're thinking of trying the recipe. If there is any recipes that you'd like me to try, comment box and I'll give them a go. I also like to welcome all the new members, subscribers, whatever you want to call yourselves, foodies, that's what I call you. So, as I said, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye foodies.